All right. So here's some basic cycles which we're going to talk about. So you've got uh, you've got the first cycle which is day cycle. You've got the next one which is kind of like a artificial cycle, but if you want to call it one, then you can, which is a week. You've got the month, which is a moon, moon month slash uh, moon, and you've got the year uh, cycle, and the day is also the sun cycle. So, you've got natural and artificial ones, which means that the natural day cycle is related to when the sun rises and sets, when it's at its peak um, in the sky, for example. For example, in the natural cycle, the sun, this is the midday here, this is uh, rise, and this is set, and this is midnight, okay? During the artificial cycle is six o'clock. This is six o'clock. That's when the the, you know, the day quote unquote starts. Like a traditional, some traditional work schedules. Um, of course, some you know, a lot of people get up later, like seven or eight, depending. But um, yeah, and it doesn't always align perfectly with when the sun will rise. It depends on the season. Similarly, 6 in the evening is when it sets again. It doesn't perfectly align with when it sets. And then 12 and 12. Similarly, with the month, um, currently we are, the, we are on the seventh day of the fourth month. And for the moon cycle, we are maybe like four days maybe a little more actually I think we might be about like a month in so um this moon cycle is linking up pretty well with this month but usually it won't or usually it doesn't so you could have the, the new moon here the new moon starting like halfway into the month and the full moon starting you know halfway into next month but you would think that the new month is of course the first day of that month and the end of that month is could be the 20 the you know, 29th the 30th etc a weekly cycle of course you know just seven days in the cycle <clears throat> is a weekly cycle artificial or natural well it depends we do uh, call the days you know Monday is moon day Tuesday is uh, Mars day or fire day Wednesday is Water Day or Mercury Day. Thursday is um, Jupiter Day or uh, Wood Wood Day. And Friday is Venus Day or um, uh, what do they call Friday in Chinese and Japanese? I forget. Is it is it a Golden Day? I think. Yeah, it's a, it's metal. I think it's metal day or golden day. So if we have the five Chinese elements, which is um, fire again Tuesday, and then it goes into I think earth, earth, which is uh, doyobi, I think, which is um, Saturday or Saturn's day. Then earth goes into I think it goes into metal. It goes into metal or gold, which is Friday. Water Wednesday and um, wood, yeah, because wood feeds fire. Fire makes ash. Ash condenses into metal. Metal condenses water. Water feeds trees. Okay, um, and then the sun would be you know, uh, Sunday. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I feel like the days of the week are different, and there is a naturalistic thing, and I also feel like there is a you know a worldly societal thing to it. So take it as you want. And then, of course, we have the year, which is made up of um, three months per quadrant, which we use the astrology to track. 
Now, why do I have this little alchemical diagram? At the bottom we have fire, and then we have water in this uh, capped, or this sealed container, and then it's misting up, or steaming up, and bubbling and steaming, and then it's recondensing back. What happens is that as the cycle reaches its zenith or its peak, it is like this water heating up. You heat up, the water heats up, everything starts to spiritualize. As it reaches its lower point, it starts to recondense. See, this is the cold region here, this is winter. This is the new moon, this is, um, I guess you could relate it to, what point of the week would it be, I don't know, mm, I'm kind of tempted to say Monday because it's just a start, but I don't know, I'm sure you get the idea, so it's like this continuous cycle of, um, you know, up and down, up and down, up and down, and what happens is that things heat up and they condense and cool down. Similarly with the location that you're at, if you're in a hot location or a cold location, will depend on how this affects the elements within you, you know, the water within you, etc. If you live in a desert, you will always be um, hotter and drier and you will be more spiritual to some extent. You will be kind of like fire. If you live in a snowy mountainous region, you will be more solid, more physical. So what happens is that literally as your body heats and cools, as the temperatures around you heat and cool, and the seasons and the moon change and such, you go through different changes and cycles where you start to feel more physical and more you know, material, etc., when it is like here, and then you start to feel more spiritual, and life becomes more, um, I'm tempted to say dreamlike, but it's not exactly dreamlike, it's more energetic, is the best way I can say it. Things happen quickly, things are moving, they're working, they're, everything is going, that's more the higher um, part of the cycle. During this part, <sighs> which is the um, autumn period or the waning moon, usually we start to finish up because during the full period we're working, we're doing things, we're getting things moving, uh, then we start to wrap things up, we start to you know, sell things, um, clean, get rid of stuff as well, that would be a good idea to prepare for the next cycle. Then down here you start to rest and you start to prepare uh, the idea of planting new seeds, which is you know, thinking about what are the things you want to do and start to getting those new habits and routines into your life. Then in the spring period or the, the um, waxing moon, we start to start, we, we put the work in and effort in and hopefully it's already, you know, you're, you're starting to make progress, you're starting to um, warm up again. So during these the lower period here you want to invest to just say money or energy you know rest you, you stay more inside and you um relax you don't do as many things well this opposite period you you spend it's more of a spending money period it's a spending energy it's doing things uh because you'll have more natural energy to do things of course you don't have to perfectly follow the cycles of nature but it's just advisable. Also, uh, sexually, especially for men, it's unadvised to uh, come essentially or ejaculate the day of the new moon and the day after and before. So these three days here, uh, women, again, I'm not sure. You'd have to test that out. Imagine it might be similar. You can still, you know, have sexual activity or masturbate or whatever, but just the actual releasing of the fluids is not a good idea. Similarly, for the peak of winter, you want to be careful or extremely cold days. 
you want to be careful about you know overexertion of exercise or sexual activity um, going outside too much um, just to you know preserve your your health uh, during this this peak of winter period here which is about I guess you could say a whole month like the most the, the peak of the, the winter solstice area but maybe just like the week before and after the winter solstice um, you don't have to follow this perfectly but it's just you know advisable <clears throat> while also these days the day of the full moon the day before and after the full moon um, it's you know you want to be somewhat careful this is when people are in a very high energy state you don't want to do anything stupid any you know bad decisions in your life similarly the peak of summer don't make foolish decisions make sure to you know think it over and make sure to really know what you're doing so these are the corresponding peaks of the course yeah, the, um, the opposite corresponding peaks you can think so another interesting thing is the condensing of blood into spirit or matter blood can symbolize with the center here either goes upwards towards spirit so blood and then spirit which we can think of as the volatile form of blood or it'll condense here down here with flesh into flesh I should say which is a physical form of blood I don't mean like the literal you know you you, you take blood and you just dry it out and it becomes flesh no the body but the body uses blood to you know coagulate it into flesh in whatever way I'm not quite sure how it does that um, but if you watch a wound heal you can you know do that so how does this happen this happens due to your temperament which is related to your temperature it's your temperature so how warm or how cold you are um, the location you're in and also your you if you're constantly like tensed and really agitated your blood will continuously rise into a spiritual form if you're very passive and kind of relaxed and just chill it'll condense more into flesh so you have people that relate more to summer and people relating more to winter there are of course spring and autumn people um, which you know I'll talk about in some other video but that's just some stuff to think about is that um, during these lower periods try not to be too agitated uh, because what happens is that you will spiritualize your blood and you will essentially bleed out through spirit uh, it's kind of like if you get if you're always anxious you have a lot of anxiety your blood just transmutes into adrenaline which is kind of like a form of spirit like a very tense it's like a very quick form and you will bleed out uh, or you'll lose all your blood and if you lose it all during a, one of these lower periods you will <clears throat> become cold and weak and sickly similarly if you condense too much into flesh at this period you don't do any work um, you'll get kind of like very fat and um, you just won't be able to get anything done so this is more why this period uh, you do more work but of course you have to you know you live your own life and you know what you need to do sometimes you need to save more sometimes you need to spend more it's all up to you this is just a I guess you'd say the metaphysics of how it works so ponder over this and try to figure out how to do it in your meditations if you sit and meditate and you focus on your body 
relax deeply you will feel the, con the condensing of your blood into you know matter if you kind of stimulate yourself and um, a more you know fiery and yang etc you'll feel it turning into like a spiritual form so that's all for this one I hope you got something out of it and enjoyed it and of course check the links in the description if you're interested in social or commercial stuff and have a nice day